Lands by Charles Hoy Fort, Part 1, Chapter 2A, Prediction Confirmed, Another Verification, A Third Verification of Prediction, Three times, in spite of its long-established sobriety, the Journal of the Franklin Institute, Volumes 106 and 107, reels with an astronomer's exhilarations. He might exult and indulge himself, and that would be no affair of ours, and, in fact, we'd like to see everybody happy, perhaps, but it is out of these three chanticleities by Professor Pliny Chase that we materialize our opinion that, so far as methods and strategies are concerned, no particular differences can be noted between astrologers and astronomers, and that both represent engulfment in dark ages. Lord Bacon pointed out that astrologers had squirmed into prestige and emolument by shooting at marks, disregarding their misses, and recording their hits with unseemly advertisement. When, in August 1878, Professor Swift and Professor Watson said that, during an eclipse of the sun, they had seen two luminous bodies that might be planets between Mercury and the sun, Professor Chase announced that, five years before, he had made a prediction, and that it had been confirmed by the positions of these bodies. Three times, in capital letters, he screamed, or announced, according to one sensitiveness, or prejudices, that the new planets were in the exact positions of his calculations. Professor Chase wrote that, before his time, there had been two great instances of astronomic calculation confirmed. The discovery of Neptune and the discovery of the asteroidal belt, a claim that is disingenuously worded. If by mathematical principles, or by any other definite principles, there has ever been one great, or little, instance of astronomic discovery by means of calculations, confusion must destroy us in the introductory position that we take, or expose our responsibility, and vitiate all that follows. That our data are oppressed by a tyranny of false announcements, that there never has been an astronomic discovery other than the observational or the accidental, 